Man, it's been a long time since I've been in this chair. Hello vapors and vapies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my August 2016 favorites and a little bit of updates. <laughs> Perfect. My cup tea is dead, so I guess I'm not vaping it in this video. Alright guys, so let's just jump right into it. Um, it has been a very long time since I have sat down and done a vape video. The last time I did a vape video was August 31st, and I was really sick, and so I like was just on my couch like testing out sample box flavors. So because I haven't uploaded a video in almost two weeks, I missed my favorites video for August so we're gonna do that it's a really quick one because I didn't upload many videos in August or July or June and now you guys know why I have been super busy planning and scheduling everything for my wedding and yes I did get married this last Saturday it was the best day of my life and it was so perfect and I've usually been pretty private about my relationships on the internet because that's just one you know I share a lot with you guys and I've kept Kept that pretty private a few of you guys from Twitter and maybe anybody who watches like every single one of my videos would know about Douglas and I but we have been together for five years engaged for two and we finally tied the knot and I put up a little quick video for you guys to enjoy and share with you because that was such an important day for me and I mean it is I mean I'm married now and so I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like we're just like a big happy vape family and I just wanted to share it with you so I hope you guys enjoyed I know that some people were like, this is not a vape video, why is it on this channel? Well, it's my channel, so I am going to upload whatever I want to this channel. And that's like another thing, part of the updates is with all of the FDA stuff going on, I feel like I'm going to probably start adding different types of videos here and there into this channel. Because honestly, the future of vaping is pretty unclear and so it's always good to have a diverse type of video for this channel and speaking of the future of vaping I wanted to quickly update you guys about the uh, generosity campaign for uh, the AVA and the right to be smoke free so I'll just pull it up right on my phone here real quick and it looks like so far we have raised $199,868 for the Right to Vape campaign. That is so freaking awesome. We have Sample Box at a $50,000 collaboration donation. We have One Hit Wonder E-Liquid at $25,000. Uh, Twisted Messes at $15,000. Vista Vapors at $11,000. Digiflavor, Viper Vapor, Mad Hatter, Emoji Liquids, One Up Vapor, Fried e-liquid all at ten thousand dollars of a donation that is incredible and then as far as individuals go we have grim green at top with 1500 indoor smokers with 1100 s shifferl oh, probably murdered that name at a thousand mike vapes at 600 tr callahan at 575 and yours truly at number six at 550 and so on so there has been exactly 1,136 people donations. Now that's either an individual or a company, but 1,136 donations in 27 days have raised almost $200,000. And our goal is $250,000. So if you're just now hearing about this, you can go and check out my video for the Right to Vape campaign and all of the other big vapors out there have their videos as well. And if you want, I will leave a link below and you can go and donate. Every single dollar helps. So even if you can only donate a dollar or five or 10, it will help the cause. And if you want to know more about that, I will leave a link below because honestly, I just, I don't really have a lot of energy. Um, also with my last video that I did before I put up the wedding video, I had the shingles just days before my wedding. So I was so stressed out about planning my wedding and getting everything all good to go that I developed the shingles. I had had the chicken pox when I was an infant, so I did have the shingles virus inside me and all that stress just triggered it out. And it was literally the most beautiful and the most stressful day of my life. Like I almost didn't know if I could walk down the aisle because I was so terrified. You guys, I've told you before that I just don't do well with crowds. I have social anxiety. I don't like all eyes on me and that's what it is to be a bride, all eyes on you. And so it was just like, <laughs> I was bridezilla 
moments before walking. I was like, my bridesmaids were like, it's okay, it's okay, do this, and da da da. And I'm just like, no, don't talk to me. Like, I was just so, I like, I had to apologize because I was just, no, it was. <laughs> but now that I look back on it, it's like, oh, I didn't need to be nervous. It was perfect. It was the best day of my life. And anyway, so that's over with. I can calm down, but like, haven't had a chance to relax since because I helped with cleanup. And then the next day was more cleanup because there's a lot of cleanup to do. And then the next day, I had to return the tuxes because we rented those, rented the kegs, rented the arch. And that's another thing. We're not going on our honeymoon right away. We did do a honeymoon fund, which, oh my God, I don't know if you guys saw this in the video but this is the honeymoon fun box that my cousin made for me for the wedding and it is so gorgeous that I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's so I just love this that I can't get rid of it so I like kept it and I'm like I need to figure out what to do with this what should I do with this like isn't it just thank you so much Katie if you're watching you probably don't watch my vape videos but I love you and we do plan on going to Harry Potter World in California as well as Star Wars World in Disneyland in California as well I just don't know when we're going to do that just yet because we have to plan all that stuff out I blew through our wedding budget and honeymoon budget on the wedding because I've never planned a wedding before I've never been married before so I didn't have any idea of how much goes into a wedding so the planning was bad on my part, but we're really excited because we know what we want to do. We just want to be a bunch of dorks and go nerd out at our favorite places. And yes, I did walk down the aisle to the Harry Potter theme song. Like, that's just like I had no other song in mind besides that one. And then yes, when we were finally married, we walked back down the aisle together to the Star Wars song. So it was really perfect for us little nerds. And I don't know, I don't think it was in the video, but the cake toppers were custom made to look like us. And and mine was holding a the elder wand and Doug's was holding a green lightsaber which I believe is Yoda's see I like Star Wars but I love Harry Potter so I know everything about Harry Potter and I know some about Star Wars learning more as I go and as we watch either Star Wars or Harry Potter every single night before bed but like honestly this was the first day where I didn't have to run around but then I have to do like our house is destroyed there's so much wedding stuff everywhere so I've been cleaning and then I was like oh yeah I should film because it's been so long and I really missed you guys and look at this this is so cute it says wifey mm. I drank so much at my wedding like I'm still dehydrated so I've been carrying this around just chugging water um and real quick Zoe Omara wanted me to give them a shout out well she said us but she didn't tell me who us was so like shout out to you zo and whoever else you were talking about maybe your mom or your boyfriend or somebody but th there's your shout out i didn't forget i almost did because like i'm running on e right now and i didn't even get a full night's sleep last night because i caught two huge ass raccoons in our garage this morning at like 2 30 in the morning i heard something and i was like oh it's probably just my cats because you know the garage door sometimes gets left open and i'm like it's probably just the cats and then when i came out because i was like i waited there and i was like listening and i was like oh doesn't really sound like the cats but it could be and I was like with all that wedding stuff that's still in the garage I'm like what if somebody's like breaking in and trying to steal stuff like why would they want to do that in the first place but so I like got up and I was like, okay I have to pee so I'll just go pee and like listen and I flicked on the light in the garage and didn't hear anything like any like, human footsteps running away or something but my dog Nevaeh she was all in a tizzy and I was like okay well if it was just the cats she wouldn't care she'd know it's cats cause she can smell them and so obviously it's something so I opened the door to the garage and I see these two huge raccoons and my dog just bolts out the door and chases the biggest one ran out of the door to the outside and then cornered the other one and I'm like raccoons can fuck a dog up so excuse my language new YouTube policy though and so I'm like Nevaeh get back here get back here it does by this time Doug's jumped up out of bed has his freaking katana like gonna slice this raccoon we eventually shoo it out and then Nevaeh runs after it again across the road so it chases them off into the woods which is cool she didn't get hurt nobody got hurt the raccoons got a big scare of their life I feel like they probably were hunting for one the cat food because we have cat food in the garage and there was still like um bags of hot dog buns because we did bratwurst and kielbasa and hot like different yummy types of sausages for the wedding so there were still like buns and then like there was some dirty crock pots from the sauerkraut still in there so I have like so much stuff that I still need to do but I wanted to take time to do a really quick update slash favorites video since it is the middle of 
September and I didn't do an August favorites video yet but hopefully this month we'll get back on track I'll be working on getting back on track through September but then hopefully by the holidays October November December like everything will be running back and smooth to my regular schedule but like yes that is why my schedule has been so chaotic and so inconsistent and way less videos than normal because I have been so busy with planning my wedding I gave myself six months to plan my wedding like <laughs> it's probably not the smartest idea ever like I said we've been engaged for two years but had always just put it off because we didn't have the money to get married like I knew it was gonna be a quite a bit of money to get married and we were saving and you know no rush or anything and then my friends were like you need to get married now and like my family like get married and I'm like okay okay let's get married let's do it and so yeah I gave myself six months to plan my wedding and uh, <laughs> that's not smart like I am so glad that's behind me and I'm so glad that I'm married now to the love of my life I'm so, mm, I love him and I'm just glad that I can finally share this with you guys because I don't know if you know but I've been wearing my engagement ring since 2014 like September 2014 and sp still people ask like throughout the years like if you're if I'm single or on the market and it's like that's first of all that's weird to ask through the internet because like I don't know you and I can't see you but you can see me so like who are you but then also like I've always had my ring and now I have my wedding ring and I just yeah so let's let's get on to vape favorites but one more thing before we get into my vape favorites which is gonna be really short because I uploaded maybe 15 videos in August which is really not a lot maybe even less than that I was in vape magazine again so I was in June's issue with a three-page um, interview and so I'm in this one this is August so I mean it's late I forgot to mention it well it would have been in my August favorites anyway if I had done August favorites in time but um here it is I did a collab ad for Bonsai Vapors active line and it says if I had one flavor to vape for the rest of my life it would be pound it and that is so true and there's me vaping my knee box my green one which since this photo shoot which was in um June I think I'd moved on to my cup tea but then I have my pound it here and that was a lot of fun I really really love the guys over at Bonsai Vapor and Maddie and everybody there like you guys are amazing they actually sent me a card like congratulating me on getting married I thought that was so sweet and hooked it up with a Starbucks gift card like that it was so awesome so I just want to share you show you guys this this magazine is amazing like I don't know if you guys have this is vape magazine it is it's a huge magazine it's really cool and look here I think this is Nick, this is Grim Green's uh, line, Epic Clouds, shout out, promo for you, dude. Anyways, let's move on to the vape favorites. So like I said, it's gonna be super short. So um, I don't actually have the bottle here with me because it's gone, but the You Got E-Juice Frosted Donut, this is the uh, cinnamon roll, I have a little bit left of this. I went through the Frosted Donut and I did share it because I, when I get the big bottles like this and it's something super yummy, I love to share it with my vaping friends like Chelsea. So this would be like my number one out of all of them. And I had a tough time. Like I have three more over here, but I had a tough time picking. And then I didn't know for second place, I was like Milky Cone's Vanilla Bean. This is so good. Like all three of the Milky Cone Vapory flavors are delicious and they come in the cute little cone packages, but I think I like Vanilla Bean best because it just tastes like frosting. Like so much frosting in my life and it's so good like and it's way better the, to vape the frosting than it is to actually just eat it out of the frosting tub not that I have any I did before the wedding like I had a whole like six or eight tubs of frosting for the cupcakes that we had there and then like this was just it was exactly the same buttercream it just tasted like buttercream I know this is supposed to be vanilla bean ice cream but I just buttercream frosting totally and then again I don't actually have the bottle the right bottle this is just another bottle from the same company but the PG 18 e-liquid by x2o vapes I kind of obsessed over the flashback flavor which is like banana caramel pistachio such a weird combination like not one that I've had well not weird now that I think about it but unique as in I haven't had it before and that was gone in two seconds flat because like look how tiny these bottles are this one is sneak peek and I think this one is like um a guava papaya one I'm not exactly sure but it it was it's still here so obviously it's not my favorite but I just wanted because it's the same company and then this wasn't actually like I didn't do a review for this because I've already reviewed crew juice before but I got this in my sample box and I just had to give another shout out to Big Lou because this juice is so good it's blue cocoa and it's blueberries and coconut and that's actually what's in my coop tea right now coop tea 
I say coop D. Like, I'm sorry. I know that's not how you say it, but I would rather say coop D than cup tea because cup tea just doesn't roll off the tongue good. And so, yeah, I'm trying to savor this bottle because I think it's only a 15 mil. Yeah. And I have a little less than half left of it, but it's so good. Now, as far as device and atomizer, so my favorite mod would go to the Tesla Stealth because it's so little and I love like the all-in-one look. Now, it's not a traditional all-in-one like a knee box or a Plato or um, the Coopty, but it is an all-in-one in the sense that like it sits like this and the tank's like this. Now, so that's my favorite mod. Now, my favorite atomizer is actually the atomizer that's in here now. It's not the one that came with this. And I'm going to be real right now. Like we're going to get real honest. This is the Target Pro atomizer. So like I do love my Target Pro. This is so beautiful. And I just love the ergonomic design of it and how it fits in the hand like this. But um, I wanted to put these two together since they were my favorites. I was like, oh my God, put the Tesla Stealth, put the Target Pro Atomizer, because I definitely love the Target Pro Atomizer more than the Atomizer that came with the Tesla Stealth, and vape it that way. Now, it's kind of a little weird to vape because the drip tip is so short, so it isn't like the perfect vape combo. I mean, if you got a longer drip tip, then that would probably work, but, so after I put this in there and I was like, well, it's not really working out size-wise, like height-wise with the fire button and the drip tip, and I could just change out the drip tip and vape it, which would be fine, but, I can't get this atomizer out. <laughs> I can't get it out. Like, I, I've even used tools to try to get it out. Look, you can probably see these scratches on it. Oh, oh, so not cool. And so, blurry camera. Hi, hello. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's stuck in there. And so, and I already tried to get it out with fire so I'm just gonna see if Doug can maybe help me get it out oh and I want to say a big thank you to Danielle from the dab spot and Chris over at indoor smokers for coming to my wedding it was really awesome to see you guys there but these are my vape favorites like I said really quick I had more e-liquid favorites than I did mods I did look at the R steam which was really pretty and then I loaned it out and I haven't seen it since, so I need to get that back because I wanted to do a one month update for that. But my friend was in need of a vape and I was like, well, I just looked at this one and it's really cool and really good. So I'll let you borrow it, but I haven't heard back from them in a while. Not that I'm worried because like I have so many vapes, but I did do want to do a one month update on it because it's... I liked it like I liked the size I liked the design of it and everything so I will leave a link below to all of my favorites that I mentioned in this video as well as a link to the um, the campaign to save vaping and also to vape magazine just in case you want to check out their subscriptions I believe it's like $13 a month but don't quote me on that because I could be so wrong I think the longer subscription you buy the cheaper it is like it might even be like $99 a year I'm not I'm not sure don't actually don't even believe me because I have no idea I'm like just trying to rack my brain which is fried af so um <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully because I really do have a lot of videos I need to get to and uh thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around even though I was gone for almost two weeks like trust me I was having YouTube withdrawals I wasn't even able to have much time on Twitter or anything and that's where I love to be love to be on Twitter and chat with you guys I was my Facebook was neglected my Instagram oh my god was that neglected but like I'm back now and everything should just fall back into place and I need to relax, have a vape, charge my koopty, drink some water and enjoy the married life. So what's my outro? It's been so long. What is it? That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or Snapchat. I also have a second YouTube channel that I've been really good about uploading a little bit more frequently on. And those are completely not related to vaping, those videos. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those social media links will be below. One more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape as well as donate to the right to vape campaign to save vaping this is our last hope so with all that being said i'm tia vapes mrs vapes and thank you so much for watching hmm that coil might be burnt out <laughs> i just put it in there i thought